Decision 2024. Tonight, my focus on Huntsville's District 1 municipal election. Many parallels already run between the two candidates who've declared. Both were born and raised in North Huntsville. Both currently serve North Huntsville and both want to see North Huntsville thrive. Here's a little bit of my conversation with Devin Keith and Michelle Watkins. Anything that I think is going to make this district better, I'm going to work and advocate for it. You're there to be their voice. And that's why my slogan is elect your voice. Let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. And growth has been District 1 incumbent Devin Keith's mission, kicking off his re-election campaign in the middle of empty lots about to sprout new homes. Six neighborhoods later, we're up to 650 new homes. And this used to be woods with a small park, and now we'll become a premier neighborhood. Keith has and plans to continue to focus his efforts in finding ways to invest in infrastructure, creating opportunities for affordable housing and improving quality of life. And we have to continue to make investments into our neighborhoods. I have to find ways to bring families to North Huntsville, not just to turn over home products. My goal is for North Huntsville to thrive. And when I say thrive, we see the new homes. That's great. But our local residents that's been here for years, they, some of them can't afford those new homes. You see um, some growth going on, but you don't see the Mid-City. You don't see the Twickenham. You don't see the Hayes Farm. You don't see the Bridge Street. Michelle Watkins has also been working for North Huntsville, serving two terms as District 1 school board member. She says she's ready for a new challenge. I've always was told, leave a place better than you found it. And I left it a lot better than I found it adding that all of the schools in her district are now off the failing list. She says she knows exactly where to start if elected to city council. My top priority coming in first and foremost is talking about the roads. The roads are horrible and, and it's in the neighborhoods where they are really a problem. And no matter where I go, that's the first thing people say. What are you going to do about the road? I don't disagree with her, actually. What I think people need to understand is inside of a budget is only $13.2 million. For the past three years and in a total of seven years, District 1 has made up about 27 to 32 percent of all road infrastructure money. So it's only a certain amount of money we can spend on roads. District 1 is getting over its fair share. My colleagues, if they are watching, would be nodding their head and mad that we continue to get the majority, but we're playing catch up. And we're intentionally doing that because, again, I'm not always trying to pave a road. I'm trying to build a new road. I wish I had more time to air my interviews. I learned a lot about Miss Watkins, like not only graduating from Johnson High School, but then turning around and teaching entrepreneurship and finance there. Feeling a bit misunderstood and getting a negative label when she shows her passion for her district. Keith, on the other hand, feeling like he may have to reintroduce, reintroduce himself to his constituents again, reminding them of the work he has done and putting negative headlines behind him. The Huntsville municipal election is coming up August 27th. There's still time for others to qualify and jump into this race. Candidates have until June 25th.